In Jingdezhen in southern China, it's still easy to explore the past. Here is a city dedicated to porcelain production. Huang Yuengpeng began his career as an academic. Now Huang uses this knowledge to recreate the past in a private business making copies of ancient imperial porcelain. The kiln smoke has never stopped rising for over 1,000 years. The kilns in the rest of the world couldn't match Jindijen's kilns. There were 300 kilns in Jindijen. It was said that the sky never went dark and there was a constant sound of rolling thunder. Water hammers still thunder as they have for hundreds of years, crushing ingredients for the clay. This is not a place that looks as if it ever had any influence on the world, but it did. Research into old Chinese texts shows why. In 1637, an official called Song Yingxing recorded what he saw in Jingdezhen. His book is now a unique technical manual. I have observed that a portion of clay must pass through 72 different processes before it is finally made into a cup. So the porcelain was made by people who specialized in different stages of the production. There was clear division of labor. This was industrial factory style production. This was the first place on earth to experience capitalist style industrial production. Around the world, historians now agree that almost 1,000 years ago, Jingdezhen became the world's first industrial city. But how was this possible? Locally, it's still called the porcelain capital of the world because exports were so huge. Jindajen's porcelain has been excavated by archaeologists across Asia, Europe, and the east coast of Africa. Our porcelain making technology also had a great influence in Europe. 